I was on the outskirts of a little southern town, trying to reach my destination before the sun went down. The old CB was blaring away on channel 19, when there came a little boy's voice on the radio line. He said, Breaker 19, is there anyone there? Come on back, truckers, and talk to Teddy Bear. Well, I keyed the mic and I said, you got it, Teddy Bear. And the little boy's voice came back on the air. Appreciate the break, who we got on that end? I told him my handle, and then he began. Now, I'm not supposed to bother you fellas out there. Mum says you're busy and for me to stay off the air. But you see, I get lonely, and it helps me to talk. Because that's about all I can do. I'm crippled and I can't walk. I came back and I told him to fire up that mic, and I talked to him as long as he'd like. This was my dad's radio, the little boy said. But I guess it's mine and mum's now, because my daddy's dead. Dad had a wreck about a month ago. He was trying to get home in the blinding snow. Mum has to work now to make ends meet, and I'm not much help with my two crippled feet. She says not to worry that we'll make it all right, but I hear her crying sometimes late at night. You know, there's one thing I want more than anything else to see. Oh, I know you guys are too busy to bother with me. But you see, my dad used to take me for rides when he was home. I guess it's all over now since my dad is gone. Not one breaker came on the old CB as that little crippled boy talked with me. I tried hard to swallow a lump that just wouldn't go down as I thought about my boy back in Greenville town. Dad was going to take Mum and me with him later on this year. I remember him saying, One day this truck will be yours, Teddy Bear. But I know I'll never get to ride an 18-wheeler again. But this old base will keep me in touch with all my trucker friends. Teddy Bear's going to back on out now and leave you alone, because it's about time for my Mum to come home. But you give me a shout when you're passing through, and I'll sure be happy to come back to you. Well, I came back and I said, before you go, 1010, watch your home 20, little CB friend. Well, he gave me his address and I didn't once hesitate, cause this hot load of freight was just gonna have to wait. I turned that truck around on a dime and headed straight for Jackson Street, 229. And as I rounded the corner, oh, I got one heck of a shot. 18 wheelers were lined up for three city blocks. I guess every driver for miles around had caught Teddy Bear's call, and that little crippled boy was having a ball. For as fast as one driver would carry him in, another would carry him to his truck and take off again. Well, you'd better believe I took my turn at driving Teddy Bear and then I carried him back in and put him down in his chair. And friends, if I never live to see happiness again, I want you to know I saw it that day in the face of that little man. We took up a collection for him before his mama got home, and each driver said goodbye, and then they were all gone. He shook my hand with a mile-long grin. He said, so long, trucker, I'll catch you again. Well. I hit that interstate with tears in my eyes. I turned on the radio, and I got another surprise. Breaker 19 came a voice on the air, just one word of thanks from Mama Teddy Bear. We wish each and every one a special prayer for you, because you made my little boy's dream come true. I'll sign off now before I start to cry. May God ride with you, 10-4, Goodbye.